Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I am here with a makeup tutorial and it's going to be on this look. Um, a lot of my friends and family have seen this look before too, but I thought I would do a video on it. And if you guys would like to see how I did this look, then stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so I've already primed my eye with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. As a base, I use the Maybelline Color Tattoo. And this one is in Painted Purple. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you the colors that I'm going to be working with as far as eyeshadows go. This one is an NYX pigment. I'm not sure what the name is. Um, I had this before I started doing YouTube videos. I'm going to try to look it up for you. But it is a blue, but it has purple to it. You can just use whatever you have that's closest to it. I'm also going to be using some colors from my Inglot palette. I'm going to be using this pearl, well, purple shade right here. Hopefully I'm in the frame. But um, it is Pearl 439, and I'm going to be using the shade underneath it, which is a peachy tone, and I'm going to use that as a highlight, and it is number 347. I am also going to be using this matte black right here, and this one's AMC 63. So hopefully you guys were, be, were able to see all of that. Um, I'm going to start off with the black. And I'm just going to get a crease brush that I picked up at Target where they have the tools at. And I'm going to apply the black to the outer corner. I'm going to move my mirror over. I'm going to slightly move it in the crease. I just want to darken this area up, and I'm actually going to wipe some of this color off and start to blend this shade in. Okay, so next I'm going to grab another crease brush, and I'm going to use the purple and just start applying this all over the lid. And just blend it into the black. This is actually a fairly easy look to do. So I'm happy with this for right now. I'm just going to go ahead and start working on the color that I'm going to use on the inner corner. And that is going to be the NYX pigment. And I'm actually going to grab some misting spray. And this is the e.l.f. one. I just put it in a different container. And I'm just going to spray some in the cap. And I'm just going to dip my brush. And I'm going to use a small detail brush. And I'm just going to dip it into the color. Just wet my brush a little bit and then dip it into the pigment. And I'm just gradually packing this color and trying to blend it at the same time so that way it's not too harsh. Okay. 
through. I'm actually going to add some more to this side. I'm just going to blow a little bit off of it. Off my brush, I should say. I'm just trying to blend it into the purple. And I'm actually going to grab the brush that I used the purple and just try to blend these two together. And I'm not doing it really hard. I'm just doing it with the tip of the brush really lightly. And I'm just going to bring up some of that purple to the brow bone in this area. Okay, so I'm going to start working on the outer V and darken it up to the same consistency as the other side. And I'm just going to grab a fluffy shader brush and put some black up there and just try to match up the sides. I'm going to grab the fluffy brush and just soften up these edges. I'm actually going to grab some more purple and just bring it over into the black. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of black and define this crease a little bit. I'm not going to go all the way in with the defining the crease, just right here, kind of like halfway. And I'm just going to mix some more purple and keep blending it together. And I'm just going to wipe off my brush a little bit and just blend it with what's up here. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my highlight color. Let me blow this off because I have a little bit of purple in it. I'm just going to go with a peachy tone, but something that is matte. I'm just going to place it. My brows are glowing in still, so it's looking a little bit messy, but I'm going to try to do the best I can to cover this up. I'm going to soften up this edge a little bit. going to grab the crease brush and then just go back over it with the black and purple that I had mixed. And then I'm going to grab the fluffy brush that I had and add more black right here. And just keep this dark. I'm going to try to drag it down. I might have to change my brush because this one's kind of wide. So I'm actually going to 
use a LA Colors Jumbo Pencil. And this one is in Tropical Bliss. That's just a pretty purple. And I'm actually going to, I have a piece of hair or something right here. But I'm going to um, line the lower lash line with it. And I'm actually going to grab another mirror so I can see. Because my other one's kind of far. And I'm going to go all the way in to the inner corner with this color. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a Q-tip and just try to straighten up this line of this purple pencil I just put down. Clean it up a little bit. I have a bit of fallout from the pigment, but I'm going to try to clean that up with some concealer. Okay, so next I'm going to grab a small detail brush again and I'm going to apply the purple shadow the ink black shadow and put it on top of this purple pencil and I'm going to wipe it off and apply the pigment Put it right here in the inner corner and blend it over into the purple. I think I'm going to use some more setting spray so that way it makes it easier to work with. Okay, you guys, so that's pretty much um, it for right now. I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and um, apply some liquid liner to the upper lash line, put on some mascara, some falsies, and set my foundation. I'm just going to do that the same way I did it in the last video that I showed you, just as far as setting my foundation, and I will be back. All right, you guys, so I am back. I did what I needed to do off camera, setting my foundation, applying my cheek color, lips, and all that good stuff. And so this is the finished look. And right now I'm just going to give you a run through of the items that I used while I was off camera. Today I used the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, and I am Mahogany 440. And as a highlight, I used the L'Oreal Hip Line. And this one is sepia 814. For setting my foundation, I use the MAC Studio Fix. And I am NW45. Looks like this. And on top of that, I use the Ben Nye powder, translucent powder. And this one's in Sienna. For cheeks, um, I did some contouring, so I used my favorite contouring powder, or whatever you want to, bronzer, I should say. Um, I used Blackberry, and this is by Black Radiance. And for cheek color, I used, this one's called Raspberry, and this is also a Black Radiance product, and it's a blush. And I must say about this shade, a little goes a long way. It is very, very pigmented. So you have to do it with a light touch when you're applying it. Um, for my lips, I used four different things. 
Okay, so for lining my lips, I use this Color Icon Pencil by Wet n Wild. And this one is in Chestnut. It's number 7-Eleven. For lip color, for lipstick, I use Baby Pink by Revlon. Looks like this. It's a pretty soft pink. And it is number 020. I use lip two lip glosses because um, that pink lipstick is just too ashy looking or light, I should say, for my skin tone. So I just wanted to tone it down. And I first applied this um, Sinful Colors lip gloss. And this one's in Cream Sickle Cream. And it's a pretty soft pink. And layered on top of that, to tone down the pink because it really didn't do too much with that lip gloss. So I applied Berry Blush and this is by e.l.f. And it's a darker pink. And for my eyes, I have um, some lashes that I can show you this time around that I didn't use. I use the Charm Lashes and it's number 13. And for mascara, I use the Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara. And for lining my upper lash line, I use the Maybelline Ultra Liner. And I must say that is it, you guys. Um, I hope you guys like this look and enjoyed this video. I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and God bless.